Good morning. I'm Paul S. Jackson, the Associate Minister at University Congregational Church, and I'm continuing my 40 Days of Lent series here on truth. Um, and today I want to talk about one of the um, other more modern um, concepts or ways of framing the truth. I, we've talked about the justified true belief that for most of modernity, um, existed trying to help us get some kind of certainty going in, in our world. Um, currently, there are four um, broad categories uh, of, of models for truth. And the one I want to talk to about today is the, um, it's called the correspondence model. And an easy way kind of to think about this is, is uh, documentary evidence, maybe uh, evidence document things that point uh, and uh, together and along they work together to to create a truth um, in the class we we took uh, earlier in the spring um, the move we watched a movie to kind of unpack um, the the um, uh, correspondence model and that movie was 12 angry men um, which is based on a, a, a stage play by the same name and it's it's a brilliant piece of work actually I may have that backwards they may have turned it into a play based on that uh, popular idea of moving um, entertainment from the stage to the screen back and forth anyway uh, using uh, 12 angry men uh, which is a um, courtroom drama, a jury drama. If you've never seen it, it's pretty great, pretty fascinating to watch. That has um, the jury uh, convening for what seems to be a shut and dried, you know, case. They were, you know, they're ready to ready to declare their verdict in the first hour, but there was uh, one holdout, and it shows not only an excellent use of the art of persuasion, this holdout, but through the use of, of documents, through correspondence, through things that, that go together um, to, to, to make his case, to prove his case using, uh, he, they drew maps of uh, the murder scene, things like that. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a great way to deconstruct the truth or to construct a truth using um, correspondence theory. So that's just some thoughts on that today. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.